So high pressure versus low low pressure. You dealt any tile with any low pressure equipment? I have. It has its purpose. Uh, I'm still in the, you know, eh, I prefer my high pressure equipment. Yeah. Um, I can I can get a lot more work done with the high pressure equipment. Low pressure equipment, it has its benefits. It's easier to take into more remote air, uh, areas. Um, it takes generally less power requirements that is needed for some of the high pressure equipment. So, you know, it's it has its pros and cons. You're not going to get production out of a out of a low uh, out of a low pressure set up as you would out from a high pressure set up. The main thing is using the right tool for the right job. So what is right for the job? Uh, thick film versus thin film applications. Surface quality and char characteristics. And then also capital investment required. Sure, you can get into a low, low pressure system a lot cheaper than you can with a high pressure system, most part. But you're only going to be limited on the amount of size jobs you can do. If you're doing a large job, it's going to take you a lot longer period of time to get that job done. And, and the material. And the materials. Great, because a lot of pure polyurethane is still require high pressure. That's Correct. Sure do. When do you use that a low pressure? Solution? You know, I've seen them, seen them used on doing spot repairs. Or go, going in, in areas where they cannot get power back into it, maybe it's on the back side of a warehouse facility. You just can't cannot get equipment in for maybe the high pressure side, or maybe it's way up. Maybe it's at, I know of one company they bought several low pressure rigs because they were going inside the high rise building and they were going to be doing the insides of the planters of the, the big planters for the, the flowers and stuff, the trees, and uh, it was going to be a lot easier for them to carry the low pressure equipment side because it just ran off of a simple 110 volt out, uh, outlet where the high pressure was uh, 230, 240 volt three phase. So it was going to be a lot more difficult. And plus the material, they could get inside of smaller size containers, a lot easier to carry around. So it just depends upon the job, really. 